In this video, we will see how to set a microphone in Audacity. We will see the process with two kinds of microphones, USB and XLR. The recording process with these two types of microphones is almost similar. I will show you where they differ. The default place to see the current microphone is audio setup. From the audio setup, go to the recording device. You will see all your attached microphones in the recording device. The currently selected microphone will have a tick mark beside it. For me, the MacBook Pro microphone is currently selected. I have attached my Samson USB mic to my computer, but that does not appear on the list. This happens if you connect the microphone while Audacity is open. If I close Audacity and open it again, I will see that microphone. Audacity has another convenient way to scan the newly attached microphones. You can see an option for rescan audio devices. If I click on it, all the connected microphones will appear on the list. I will go to the recording device again from the audio setup. You can see new microphones appear on the list. The Samson microphone is listed as Samson C01U Pro Mic. However, it has not been selected yet for recording. To use the Samson mic for recording, I have to select it. To select a microphone, click on its name, and it will be selected. I will now check which microphone is set as the recording device. You can see the Samson mic has the tick mark beside it. If I now record something, the Samson mic will be used for recording. There is one thing I find inconvenient in the Audacity interface. If I move away from the recording device, I can no longer see which mic is selected. This may lead to recording with the wrong microphone. To prevent such errors, I prefer to see the selected microphone always. From View, Toolbars, you can select the device toolbar. The device toolbar is now showing, and you can always see the current microphone on the screen. The drop-down will show you the list of microphones on the computer. You can select another microphone from the list if you want. You should also note another thing called the recording channel. With the Samson USB mic, I can only see the mono recording channel. Because this microphone has only this channel available. For voice recording mono is fine. I will get back to this point soon, as you are interested to learn how to set up the microphone, I guess you are interested to learn Audacity well. To facilitate the Audacity learning process, I have made an Audacity course for beginners. You will learn Audacity step by step to produce excellent voiceover. You will learn the basic audio concepts that you must learn. You will become confident and fluent using Audacity by completing this course. I also have an advanced level Audacity course. Both the beginner's course and advanced course can be bought through a bundle. I will put this bundle link in the description. You may purchase this bundle to get a discount or you can purchase each course individually. You will find all the necessary links in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's see how to choose an XLR microphone. On the microphone list, I have an option for Scarlett 2i2 USB. It is actually the audio interface through which my XLR mic is connected. Currently, I have a Sennheiser microphone connected to my computer. But we do not see the microphone name here, instead, we see the name of the audio interface. If you are using a different audio interface, you will see a different name. I have now selected the Scarlett 2i2 USB, so my XLR mic will be used for recording. If you check the recording device from the audio setup button, you will see the tick mark beside Scarlett 2i2 USB. If you do not see the audio interface appearing, please use the rescan option. If you check the recording channel now, you will see two options, mono and stereo. If you are using another audio interface or mixer, you may see more options in the recording channel. My audio interface supports only two channels, so I am getting two options. For voice recording, the mono channel should be used. I can now record my voice with the microphone I have selected. I hope now you understand the process of how to select the proper microphone for recording. I want to show you a time-saving tool in Audacity. It is called Macro and can make the sound better with just a click. The recording you see on the screen is a raw recording or an unprocessed recording. I have not added any audio effects so far on this recording. I will duplicate this track. I am duplicating this track to compare the original and improved recordings. I will improve the second track. To improve a track, select it and go to Tools. From the Apply Macro, you have to select a macro. A macro contains all the necessary effects with proper configuration. I have 11 macros like Clear Vocal, S Reduction, Interview Improvement, etc. You can visit this link to know more details about a macro or what it does. Back to the improvement I was making. I will select the Clear Vocal Improve. This macro makes the voice sound cleaner and crisper. The audio gets improved in a very short time. There is no hassle for configuration, and the audio is improved with perfect loudness and balance. We will now listen to the original and the improved audio. The top track is original, and the bottom track has been improved. 
why you should use audacity audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on windows mac and linux it has the easiest user interface why you should use audacity audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on windows mac and linux it has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software even if you are a beginner you can start using audacity with a very small learning curve you have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go to clean up audio recording to clean up audio recordings using audacity you have to know some basics about the audio data Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators also use Audacity. You have to understand how to identify an audio problem. You have to know which action you need to take. You can see how easily I could process my audio to get a very high-quality voice. You can download those amazing macros from this Buy Me A Coffee page. These macros are very easy to install and work with any OS. I have a detailed instruction video in the description of the macro. I also have a detailed description of what each macro does. I will show you briefly the installation process so you get an idea of how easy it is to use. Once you purchase the macros, you will get this zip file. Unzip the file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. All the macros are inside the macros folder. The purchase comes with after sales support. If you face any issues installing the macros, please email me, and I will resolve the issue. To import a macro in Audacity, you have to go to the Macro Manager from Tools. You have to import the macros. Click on the Import button and browse to the location of the macros folder. You have to import the macros one by one. Audacity does not support bulk installation of the macros. Select a macro and open and it will be installed. You can install all the macros or specific ones as you wish. Once the macro is imported and appears on the left side, it is ready to use. The macro installation process is as easy as that. You will get all the necessary links in the description and pinned comments on this video. All my products come with after sales service with email support. I recommend you check these things and save tons of time and hassle in audio editing.